Hello, how's it going everyone? This is Mokin Jr. back with some more Fallout 4. Now, I have done a little bit of scavenging and I found a nice suit for my character along with glasses and a beanie. So, now I decided that I'll move on to the Red Rocket to get my first companion. So, let's move on and do that at the moment. Oh, and I did find some more weapons. I'm actually going to equip one right now because I am kind of running low on ammunition for my 10mm fight. Our, my 10 millimeter pistol blah rumbling around for words there don't know why so I am actually going to equip a pipe pistol for now since I have 154 38 ammo for it so let's do this let's see what's over here first the red rocket oh ooh, here now this is where you find dog me hey what's up there buddy how's it going Oh, and I am now level 5, guys. So, because I've done a little bit of building in the background that you guys haven't seen yet, I will show you later on after I get some more of it done. Because I have not done much more of it. So, uh, where's your owner, buddy? Okay, then. Let's stick together. Yes, let's stick together. So, this is another, another settlement here. Now, I have gotten most of the achievements, and one of the achievements was to get your settlement up to 100% happiness. I actually used this place to my advantage. I only had one person here and gave him like a whole bunch of food and water and a bed, and pretty much I just let time go by, and all of a sudden I got the achievement without even realizing it. So, it's actually quite easy to get the achievement. You just got to do one person with a whole bunch of food and water. So it looks like there's nothing here, but dog meat did find something. What'd you find, boy? Where are you? I hear you barking. I don't see you. Where are you, boy? I lost you. You inside? Where's the thing that you found? Huh? Show me. Now you're not going to show me. Well, you suck. So, and I did go around and search around for some stuff because I ran slow on supplies. So I did go here. I will go over there sometime later on in my videos and show you guys what those areas are. But I mean, just basically, they're simple areas. There's some resources here, and I also found a computer that gave me new locations where there are some trailers that I can unlock and collect some more stuff. I don't know if it has anything special in it, but yeah, pretty much. Oh, and uh, I also have this place because I do have the un animatronic DLC along with the Wastelander Workshop DLC. And so I plan on doing those as well in my gameplay with you guys. Because I never did it during my other gameplays because at my gameplays that I did before this one, I didn't have the DLCs. I finished this game way before any of the new DLCs came out. So I just figured, oh, hi there, mole rats. See how this bayonet works. Oh. Pretty effective, just as effective as bullets. Two strikes, kills them. I actually do like that they can. you can actually put decorations and stuff up in your places, which is nice. Because it's just awesome. There's more caps there. And I do have quite a bit of caps now because I did find a lot of those cap caches throughout the houses that were back in uh, Sanctuary. Yeah, the sanctuary. So on this part, I'm actually going to show you what I usually do when I come into new settlements. I usually just clear out everything that's not useful. So I have to first go over here, search. There we go. I just clear out anything that's yellow. Just get it out of here and out of the way. So that way I can basically build what I want to build here remove all the junk that does not need to be here that is destroyed or in the way just it's useless 
I mean, it gives me stuff, which is awesome. That's why I also do it. It's because it gives me a lot of resources. Then I also try and move all the resources to one certain area. Like, I'll grab all the resources out of this, and I'll move it all to sanctuaries, and then start a supply line once I get people. So that way I can just basically just have it all in one area, and I know where it's at. If I need something important, I know that I can go, when I go to one of my settlements, if I have it connected to sanctuary, I can actually access that stuff, which is awesome. Another thing that they incorporated that's pretty cool. I'll get a stuff or stuff like that, and I'll grab that in a second, along with that one. I'll get rid of that broken truck. Um, this table can go for now. I'll put a new one somewhere else later on. Oh, and there is something that is awesome that I did not show you guys when I came over here because I just kind of came around the backside to actually enter here. But there's actually a little cave right there that you guys can go down into and actually collect some stuff out of it, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Now, I'm just going to try and remove everything that I possibly can, like these ruined trees I'll try and get rid of and whatnot like that. And also, another cool thing about the DLC, is the newest one actually incorporated quite a bit of new stuff, such as new generators that you have to have uh, science rank 4 in. Which obviously, I don't have that yet on this character. Which is alright. I mean, hell, who cares? Like, literally, I think later on down the series, I will actually bring up one of my other characters and show you guys what I have done on them. Now, I do have only one full character that has all four endings. I'm trying to do each character that I go through with all four endings. Just do it differently each way. Like, end with different stuff each time. It's just amazingly stuff that I can do with this game. But it it's the quest. The quests on some parts just start repeating and repeating and repeating. And it's just like, okay, where are you trying to get at with this game? What are you trying to do? Are you guys trying to make it where we go insane with the same stuff over and over and over? Or are you guys trying to incorporate that we don't need to do these missions every time, every single day of the day for them? Which, I mean, it's like, okay, so what am I supposed to do next? What am I supposed to do here? What, what's this? What's that? It's just, it's, there's so much to it. And it's just amazing. I mean, it, don't get me wrong. It is a really good game. It's just, it's repetitive quests. But I love it. I really, really do. It, it's the best game that I've played so far in a while since... Oh, I do believe since, uh, I want to say Fallout New Vegas was pretty good. I mean, Call of Duty, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. I mean, there's nothing you can go wrong there. There's nothing good that you can go wrong there. It's just, I don't know what they're trying to do with Call of Duty. But anyways, back to this game. I am sorry about that. This Most of this game, this video, is going to be me just bullshit and about how awesome this game is compared to most other games well i just do random stuff like what i'm doing right now i mean here here soon i will be doing a lot more like battles and stuff like that i just wanted to show you guys dog meat before i went back to building my base because i want to build my base up before i go down and into the city because the city gives you more settlers, and settlers are good for you. They give you a lot, and they give you people in your settlement, which is nice, because then I can start my runs. I can start my trade runs, which would be good for me, because then I can actually do what I want to do. And I'm actually going to leave that desk, because that computer will disappear. No, I don't want to scrap it. Thank you. Let's scrap it. Alrighty, so that's pretty much everything here by the looks of it, I do believe. That needs to be scrapped. I don't know. Yeah, I could scrap these here. This will give me a lot more steel, because a lot of the stuff requires steel. I don't know why, but it does. It requires a lot of steel, and it's just... It, finding resources sometimes is a pain. I mean, there's some resources that you rarely can find. It's like, okay, where the hell is this resource? I need some more of this resource. Like, right now, I'm trying to find me some copper, because I need copper to do what I need to do right now. Like... The generators need copper. 
the lights need copper, the wires for the lightings need copper. Pretty much almost everything requires copper. I'm going to pick up that stem pack and see what's in this first aid kit. I s thank you. Yeah, I don't, sometimes I won't play in first person. But anyways, I'm going to actually kill these two bugs that fly around down here above this Brahmin. So that way I can try and get some Brahmin meat because with the Wastelander uh, workshop, you can actually capture animals. So I want to try and capture some animals in this gameplay for you guys. So that way I can show you what that what that does. Now oh, where's that other one? There he is. He's not as bloated as the other one, which is fine. Because I don't have to worry. There we go. See, this one, he's a blood bug catchling. Which is alright. Cool. Does this give me any Brahmin hide? Cool. Some leather right there. I can actually... Some stuff require leather. Like some certain clothing. Like the armor. Leather armor and stuff like that. When you go to upgrade it, you need like leather and stuff like that. Now, I won't go any further in Concord. This is Concord, by the way, guys. Because the church right over there is where I need to go right now. So, I am actually going to end this video right here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to see some more of, this eps of these episodes, please leave a comment. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>